Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Super Mario Party. Today we are moving on to the finale of Challenge Road. Uh, we've been making good progress with it. This is the fourth episode so far, I believe. So we're gonna be going in and playing as Monty Mole. I'm so excited for this one and seeing how everything goes. Actually, this might be, I don't know, maybe there's, maybe I'm miscounting. I don't know how many more episodes we have of this, but I do know that we're just gonna keep going forward no matter what and try to get that gem. I'm almost positive we're getting the gem today, so we'll find out. Uh, yeah, let's move down this way and see what happens. Challenge Road, I think there's only two left. We're about to find out, but once we do, I think we're all just good and ready to go. Yeah, there's two more things left. We should definitely be able to get those done in today's episode. Now you can enter the Salty Sea. Great job making it this far. We've been traveling across the continent completing mini games and we're not stopping now. What's going on with this? Looks like everybody's having a good time. You know, Monty Mole, this sea is the saltiest of them all. They say it's due to all the tears shed by previous challengers. So the ones that did survive and not become ghosts ended up just crying. Well, now th now's the time for you to hang in there. We will try our best. I love Monty Mole just slapping his tummy. All right, so the first level of many at the Salty Sea, the metal detectors dig up at least 20 coins. This is another one. I, I don't know if I've even ever played this one. It looks so unfamiliar to me, but I feel like we have it at least once. So we, I think we have to listen to the rumble of the Joy-Con. And just sort of dig up what we find. Yeah, I do remember this now. Okay. The tough part, you'd think the Monty Mole would be really good at this one. Um, the problem is that we have to beat everybody else at the punch and not run into the Lakitus. Not the Lakitus, the Pokies. Uh, right there. Three more coins. Right here, five more coins. We need to just find another batch of five or two more batches of three, whatever works. Oh no, oh no. Dang, I did not do well. That is not easy, so we'll try it again and see what ends up happening. Uh, I would like to try again. There's a lot of stuff happening on this beach, by the way. There was a toad being chased by a chain chomp back there. Start. Okay, let's go for it. Right here. Boom, five more coins. Down this way. No, it's around here, though. Right there. Seven coins. No, but I lost three. That's so baloney. One coin. So I gotta really make sure I'm centered up on it, or I'm just gonna get one coin. Right here. Seven more, okay, I just need to find a batch of three in the next seven seconds. We can do that. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, come on, it's really tough, especially with everybody getting in the way. If I didn't get hit by that pokey, I would've gotten it too, dang. That is not easy. So we're already getting hit with some tough ones here. Cause it's, it's easy enough to win. We've already won, I think we've won both of these, um, technically, but we weren't able to get 20. Uh. Oh, no, come on, I didn't even have any coins. Can't knock three coins away from me if I don't have any. Dude, I need you to move. It's vibrating a lot for it to be, yeah, nothing. That was weird. Right here. Nine of them, wowee, I didn't know you could even get that many. Right here, no. Come on. Right here. What? One of them? That doesn't make any sense. It was vibrating just as much as the one that gave me nine. Oh, that is so difficult already. Too bad my butt. I deserve this. Monty Mole, you're a mole. Just dig under there. You seem to be struggling a bit. Who are you? You're a toady, of course. You wanna skip this challenge and move on? No, stay here. I'm winning this. Would you like to try again? Yes. I'm not giving up. We're not gonna cry into that ocean either. We're gonna win this like champs. Come on. Ooh. Oh, come on, you can't take coins from me if I don't have any coins. Monster. Right here. It's so close yet so far. It keeps vibrating. Don't hit me, thank you. Last time the big one was back here. 10 of them that time, wowee. Too bad I can't catch much more of a break than that. No, it's over here. Oh my gosh, it's so tough. Okay, see this time, I just immediately got two sevens and a nine, like it was nothing. Like nothing different happened, except for I just got luckier. So, I don't know, a little bit silly, but there we go, 28 out of 20. And uh, I think that's all I'm gonna really find. I might be able to find like another one right here. I got a one. Okay, 29 out of 20. 
I'm fine with that. It was just silly. <laughs> okay, we got it. So we went from constantly getting destroyed from to getting it to super easy. That's Mario Party for you. So what is this one? These guys are tossing apples up in the air. Take a stab. Oh, this is another music one. I got 45 points. Don't know how good I'm gonna be at this. For 45 points, that seems like a lot. Okay, let's try it. That's so far so good. That one was bad. It stinks being on the far left because I have to, usually I can base it off the timing of everybody else. 20 out of 45. Ah. Uh, I don't even care about winning. Okay, I got it, Never mind. I thought it was gonna be something I had to redo, but I think I was one of the only few that got over 45 anyways. Well, I, one of them had 46, the other one had 45, so I guess it was sort of fine. Look at those toads in the background juggling, they're so talented. Looks like we're teaming up with DK and Koopa. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's work together. Off the chain, don't get knocked out. Gotcha. So I think the last time I did this, I also was playing as a person dodging. I mean, no, no, I've definitely played as the chain chomp. But hey, the only thing that matters right now is dodging that chain jump. Dodging that chain jump. Keeps going for me. Okay, DK and Koopa are in it still. That's good, they seem pretty competent. Whoop. We still have 17 more seconds to go. That is not good. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, Monty Mole. Another situation where Monty Mole's probably first instinct is to go into the ground right now. Well, he'd probably be disqualified if he did that, now wouldn't he? Okay, we can do this one more second. Yeah, awesome. So there, that one was pretty easy. Pretty quick win with that one. Don't get knocked out, well, no problem, I didn't get knocked out. Okay, so I don't know how many mini games we've completed already, we've completed three of them. I felt like much longer than that. Looking for love, score at least 30 points with no misses. Ooh, that is gonna be tough. Because the faster we do it, the more points we get, which would make it easier, but also make it more difficult because we're guessing faster, which will make us mess up. Start. Okay, look at the heart. There's a good five points to start things off. Another five points. Got it. At this rate, we'll get it no problem. You just gotta be sure about it. There we go, so we're over 30 at this point. I can just get it wrong every time and it's fine. All right, 33 out of 30, all I wanted. Hooray, wait, what? Score at least 30 points with no misses, what are you talking about? Okay, whatever, apparently I need to do no misses across the entire thing, which is totally not what it said, keep in mind, totally not. So let's do this again for real. I can just try to play it safe after we get that, get it done. Got it. Got 10 points, 15, 20, 25. Ah, oh, okay, a little late on that one, it's fine. There we go, we're over 33. So I just gotta make sure I get it. Okay, cool. We got it. Ah, <sighs> man, that was weird. <laughs> but we were able to make it work. All right, clear. So uh, what is the next mini game? Uh, oh, it's a penguin. Oh, I mean, I guess he's not a part of the mini game. You're doing quite well. Wanna take a break or keep going? We're gonna keep going. I admire your grit. Well, I appreciate your admiration. <laughs> so we got three more left in this section. Goomba's gonna join us. It looks like a 2v2. Perfect fit. I'm always so bad at this one. I usually don't lose it very often. So we'll give it a shot and see what ends up happening. Beat the rival team. Okay, so got it, first one, pretty easy. Thank you, Goomba. Okay, uh, other way around, other way, you moved it at the la bad time. It looks like it'd be smarter just to like what one person move it and then let the other person move it. Because if not, like I'm trying to fit it with you and you're trying to fit it with me. We're not communicating very well. Anyways, we got it at the time that took the for them to do one, we did all three. So pretty good. Good job, Goomba. 
It's always those basic Mario enemies that end up teaming up so well together. Okay, we got three people to team up with this one, so it's probably gonna be a river survival one. Home on the Rang, score at least 60 points. Shouldn't actually be too bad. 60 points is way lower than what we normally get. You usually get like 70, 80 for this, I'm pretty sure. So let's try this one out. Get rid of those pokies. Okay. We're starting. It is pretty cool. This is, uh, I think, the first time in any Mario game Monty Mole has been playable. Did want to mention that a little bit. Usually, Monty Mole can be seen in some Mario spin-offs games as like an enemy, either being like a Mario Party or even stuff like uh, Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. He was like an active enemy that would hop up in front of you. And I think in other uh, Mario Kart games as well, it would be cool to see him make more appearances because I think a lot of people have welcomed his addition. But I would love to hear your thoughts on like what other wacky characters can really be added to Mario Party like this. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of options. I mean, as I say with Mario Tennis Aces, I would like to see introduction of Mario Odyssey characters somehow get Cappy in there, somehow get the Brutals in there. Really shouldn't be that difficult, but for whatever reason, they avoid it at all costs. It's weird. But uh, hey, what do we got now? Toe the line, beat the rival team. This one's actually not too bad. We're teaming up with Boo, so we should be able to get it figured out pretty well. These are almost always an easy win. This is, this is, the computers just don't do it very well. So we just have to match what's in the center, which is right there, so let's loop around. And we have gotten it. Okay, so this one's not too bad. Just gotta go down this way. You just have to move slightly to the right, Boo. You got it, good job. Round three. Let's go around this corner. And then we just gotta sync up over there. You got it, teamwork. Like I said, the basic Mario enemies always team up the best. Teaming up with Boo. Okay, so we beat that rival team as well. After that one mini game we failed at a lot, digging up the money, we've been doing really well. Oh, hey, this is going to get getting tougher. Wanna take a break or keep going? Keep going. You're, I've never, I haven't seen you in the game yet. You're Pom Pom. So much, such courage. Interesting. Good luck, thanks. Block and load. Knock over all the blocks in seven shots before your rivals can. Okay, I think I remember this one a little bit. All right, knock over all the blocks in seven shots before your rivals can. Oh, it's a, oh, I remember playing this as the three though, so that's a little scary. Ooh, I think that we'll be able to do this, but we have like a reload as well, which makes things even scarier. We're just gonna really choose our shots well and try not to miss. Boom, okay, we did okay, but not perfect. Got rid of those, I just gotta get rid of this one and then these last two blocks are what's really gonna mess me up. One more, got it. Okay, not bad. So, that's another win. Oh, we had to do within seven shots too, which was my last shot, so that was good. I always forget the stipulation every single time. Clearing the table, score at least 20 points. I have not done this one well before, so 20 points sounds like a lot, but I'm not sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, pull. No, that was bad. Ah, oh, it's so weird. That was good. I, I pulled that time, nothing happened. That was weird as well. That was too early. It's so difficult. It is really tough. It's like not second nature for me at all. I got four points. Am I doing something wrong? I mean, obviously I'm not timing it well, but it's, it's not easy. Uh, this might be a tough one. I would like to try the challenge again. And we'll see how this one works this time. 20 points. It's obviously like when the circle turns gold. But if you do it at the time you see the gold, like, it's gonna be too late. Ah, oh, it's so difficult because that's not really a really rhythmic pattern is pulling something towards you. It doesn't really work. Gosh darn it, it's so difficult. There we go. Oh, I thought one more was gonna fall. Well, I doubled my score, that's good, right? I'll try it one more time and see if we can't get it. 
I mean, at that point, Toadie might pop up. I just, I really don't think I'm gonna be able to do that well. Try again. I don't know if Toadie will show up and help me bail out of this one. I don't know what he's gonna ask for, like a bunch of coins or something. That one was better. That's... Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. Nice. There we go. I don't care, I got my 20 points. <laughs> awesome, and I would have technically won that one too. One point more than second place. All right, very cool. And that's 100 more points, and we get to move on to the next area. What is this one? Uh, oh, I didn't mean to click. Darn it, I don't even know what it is. Reach the goal within 50 seconds without failing. Is it just me? Oh, I don't get any teammates? Oh, that is so cool. See, this is what I wanna see more in Challenge Road. These kind of ideas that sort of reinvent the mini game, because you see these ones, but you usually only have to do one fourth of it because the rest of, your, if it, rest of it is up to your team. Dang it. Yeah, sort of slippery feet. Try that again. But, I know, I know. But, yeah, I, I wanna see more mini games like this, and hopefully in the second half or these last two, we really start seeing that a little bit more instead of it just being a more challenging goal in general, just like it to be a bit more inventive as well. I think that's a pretty good idea. Okay, got it. So far, so good. Okay. Is that the plate a bit more safe? Because we have 30 seconds left. 40 seconds is a lot of time, to be honest with you, so I really should just try to stay in the center of the platform. And we got it. Didn't even use half of our time. It was totally good. Okay, awesome. Just had to not be silly with it. Okay, well, good stuff. Moving on over to the penguin who's gonna ask me if I wanna take a break, and I'm gonna go, oh, of course not. I wanna play badminton with the toads over there. That sounds like more fun. But first off, we have another coin mission. What is this one? Heir to fortune, take at least 10 coins. What is this one? I have not played this one before. Start. What is this one? What do I do? What, what? Wait, what do I do? What? What do I? Wait, what do I do? I am so confused. Is it about choosing last? Why do we keep on trying to hit the same one over and over again? I'm going left. You guys don't go left. I have never ever done this one before, so I guess there really are ones we haven't tried before that we haven't unlocked, we just haven't seen. Okay, I just need a couple more. I'm going to the right. Guys, leave me alone. Go to the center or something. Hopefully you all donk. No, shy guy, you ruined it. I got it now, so this is how it works is we all decide a place to go, and then when it goes, it goes. So you have to sort of guess where your opponent's gonna be, so that's why maybe consistently getting the le least coins might be a good option. I just didn't know what I was doing before. But now I get it. So, take at least 10 coins. If we take the two, we should be fine. I could even take the one here and it would be fine, but uh, I'm gonna take the two. I should be fine. Cause they're all gonna go for the center. <laughs> Gosh darn it, shy guy! Why are you doing this to me? Come on. I'm going to the left, Shy Guy, just go for the one in the center. Or Yoshi, more specifically. I don't care about Shy Guy right now if I'm going to the left. Yoshi, I am so done with you right now. This is really not fun. <laughs> it's just like weird. You just have to hope that they won't be dinguses. Come on, oh my gosh, every time, dude, seriously? What the heck is your problem? This is the final round too, I think. This is really frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and just restart right now because it's just sort of nonsensical. Like, I get the idea, but if it's just like not much you can really do. I'm gonna get the one coin here because I think it's actually honestly better to play, play it safe because if more than one person chooses the same slot, 
they end up getting hit. Nobody gets anything. So I could have gotten three this time. But I just needed some amount of coins. I'm gonna go for one again. I think it's smarter. Okay, what are you guys gonna do? Ooh, good, I didn't go for the center. Probably could have gone for two, though. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the three coins. I hope that Shy Guy doesn't do that. Yes! Okay, I was the only one that got coins there, too. What a weird mini game. Go for the, th the three in the center. They are not gonna go for that. Why would they? Yes, okay, so I just need two more coins. Or is that it? Final round. I'm gonna go for this. If I can just get these three, leave me alone, Shy Guy. Yes, okay, I don't care who wins. Mario got the win. Nobody cares, Mario. All we got is 11 out of 10, that's all we need. Nice, okay, so take at least 10 coins, you got it. So what's going on with Princess Peach over here? She's just sort of yawning, getting more relaxed. She needs some help. Hi. Pie hard, oh, beat the rival team. This one's a tough one, but we'll make it work. So let's throw pies at him. Ready? And catch. Ooh, good, good, good. And then toss it, and then, ooh, ooh. I got hit, but you got hit too. So far we have the lead. Got it. Hey, 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 stop that. <laughs> so far, uh, Monty Mole's pretty good at throwing pies, I gotta be honest. It's hard to stay ahead though, like even now they've turned it around on us somehow, probably because Princess Peach, I don't know, maybe she just does not have a good pie throwing arm. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Pick that up, throw it. <laughs> Shy Guy's just standing here, I'm gonna vault pies at him left and right. So 69 out of 15, so we did win. Only goal was to beat a rival for that one, so we were good. Okay, so for this next one though, it is uh, Hammer Bro and Bowser Jr. What a racket beat the rival team. Oh yeah, this is the 1v3 thing where I have to dodge, or no, 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 this is the other thing. Hey, okay, I'm going against these three. Start. Also, what happened to Bowser Jr.? <laughs> okay, boom, hit it. So this can be a little bit scary. Oh, hit this one. It's not easy to do. There we go, okay, I'm starting to make it work though. Mm. It really is about not paying attention to the actual floating bombs, but instead, the circles on the floor. If you can do that, you'll probably go much better. They are destroying me right now. This is like impossible. Like most 1v3 mini games are like this, where the huge advantage is to the three, and they won. Well, that's bad. Okay, try that one again then. I know, beat the rival team, you failed, I'm so sorry. Try again. We're back in it. This rival team is going down. Okay, Spark that, try not to yawn, now's not a time for yawning. Mm. Mm. Smack that, thank you. But I didn't smack these. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, that's a mess. Get it? So I got more points than them at the moment. I wanna keep it that way, if I can manage. Okay, I'm gonna take damage here. It just sort of is the way it is. But if you pay attention to the shadow of the rocket, it can really show you how many you can hit. Okay, I got so much of a point advantage right now, and I'm gonna keep it 11 to five this time. Really destroyed them. All about paying attention to the blue rings on the floor and the racket shadow will really tell you what you can hit and what you can't. All right, awesome. Moving on to the next one. This is the final one where it's a boss fight against Wario. Even if this is as far as you make it, there's no shame in that. Why? Because I'm the next challenge. You can never defeat me. I will. And that's it. Beat the rival team. Pull it together. Oh, is this? Is this the, yeah, the tug of rope one? We should be able to do this. I think I just have to press A a lot. I got that. Ready? Wario is pretty tough though, but is he Monty Mole tough? I don't think so. And DK and Mario. I think we just have the winning team here against Diddy Kong and Princess Peach. Like, they're good characters, very dexterous and can move around and float around, but they can't be as powerful as Donkey Kong, that's for sure. All right, well, you got it. So, um. I can't believe I lost, cheater! Anyway, you can enter the goal. All right. Shows you the, like, the difference between Wario and Waluigi's personalities, right? Like Wario instantly is going to accuse you of cheating if you beat him. Waluigi calls himself a failure. Whoa, it's Pom Pom again. I'm so inspired, you make me wanna be a superstar too. 
Oh, are you an unlockable character? Cool. Perhaps next time we'll meet as rivals. Huh, so do we just have her unlocked? I think so. See ya, Pom Pom. Very cool, I don't, she's not a very common enemy in Mario games, like she's a Mario 3D Land boss. Probably some other games as well, but that's the one I know her from. All right, well we're not quite done, now you can head to the end of the road. This is the final stage, stage. the challenge won't be easy, so give it your all. It is the end of the road, literally, that's what it's called. 17 mini games in all, hopefully we can do them, because that's a lot of work. What is going on in this city? Toads are immediately being attacked, but he doesn't even seem that concerned. You made it to the final stage! What awaits you at the end of the road? You'll have to see for yourself. A gem, of course, hopefully. Good luck, thank you. Cruising for a bruising. Oh, I see, I'll run the bruisers for 40 seconds. I don't know if I can do that. I am not good at this one. We'll try it out. Run for, for 40 seconds is what we need. Start. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to keep things going as well as we possibly can. So far we got lucky. That's good. I think it's gonna be down here. Yes, okay, so far I'm making some good choices. Doesn't even matter the opponents. I'm trying to ignore them, go on the other side of them if I can, because they might just end up getting in my way. That's always the case, isn't it? Like this right now, they're just blocking me off. And that's why I'm sort of excited for them to just get out of the way. So far they're not interested. Okay, come on, come on, seven more seconds. Yes, okay, I made a good choice. Made a good choice, three, two, one and one, nice. I actually chose the blockless one almost every single time, which is usually the opposite of my experience. So that was pretty cool. Out on the bruise for 40 seconds, not a problem. They've calmed down over there, even though they still want to bruise somebody. Okay, so for the next one, it is can take pancake. Score at least 10 points. 10 points doesn't seem so bad. So we'll give it a shot and see what ends up happening. Okay, so where am I? I'm, I'm over here. Dang it, grab the wrong one immediately. Grab that pancake. This one, that one. How did he get that? Oh no, shy guy, dang it. Yeah, they're stealing, oh, I didn't get 10 points. I didn't get a single star one. Like, we grabbed the most pancakes in volume, but no stars. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try again. I like the background, though. Lots of neon lights and everything. So let's try to be a bit more careful with this one. I know I start at the top left, so it shouldn't be too bad to figure that part out. Uh, I guess I'll get this, dang it. Everybody always beats me to the star, because they always know what they're doing, but they're not gonna get this one. Yeah, okay, I got 10. And did I win? I did not win, but I don't need to. Okay, score 10 points. All the spikes are so happy. I think bruisers would be an interesting Mario Party. Character, now I'm thinking about it. Wiped out, score at least 100 points. Okay, this one we've done, I think? This one seems weird. Yeah, we've done this one, but only like once. Yeah, once ever. Yeah, we got it like perfect. Or like very close to perfect. So far, so good. So close, so far we've gotten perfect. Oh no, I spoke too soon. And then this waggle like crazy, waggle like crazy. Hey, I got all of it, cool. So 136 points, we still got the highest score and we got well over 100, which is the biggest problem, or the biggest focus we had. Okay, so uh, we got it. Almost 60,000 points in total for the uh, Toad tablet thing. Lit Potato beat the rival teams. This one's a little scary. But it should be fine. Start. So what color is our team? Our team's red. So we have Wario and Waluigi. So I just gotta keep tossing it and hope that my teammates also win. Oh no, it's so gonna explode on me. Oh, it did it! How did it not? I don't know. There goes Waluigi. One of our team members. Come on, come on. I'm gonna hold it for a while. Okay, go. And then go again. Toad, or not Toad, Goomba. <laughs> Throw it. No, Wario, I'm on my own here. It's me against two blues and the one like neon cyan kind of blue thing. 
Oh, dang it. That is so tough. I knew it was gonna land on me. It's just there's not much you can really do about it. You know, you just gotta try. Too bad, beat the rival teams. It did not work out that time. I now wanna try again. Luckily, this is just like a, it's not a luck based one, but it's sort of mildly based off of luck. You sort of have to hope that the enemies make some bad decisions. Okay, this time we have ourselves Yoshi and Donkey Kong. Okay. Throw it. Excellent, good job Donkey Kong. But Yoshi's gone already. Oh wow, that, that eliminated a good chunk of people. But at least we still have some friend helping us out here. Okay, this is like, got it. No, DK, thank you for sacrificing yourself though. So it's me against two yellows and a light blue. So they're definitely gonna try to sabotage us, me and Diddy. Oh. And then after this, it's just like two of us remaining. Come on, ooh, so we just gotta throw it back and forth as much as possible. So I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold it. Come on. Oh, you can throw it back and forth way faster than you can when there's like four of you. Oh, that's so tough. Man, oh man. Dang it. All right, it's me and Boo. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've lost at this a lot now. No matter how hard I try, it just, it, it's really tough to do. Yeah, okay, there we go, we finally beat him. All I wanted, perfect. Okay, so, how many more mini games do we have left? I think quite a few on this road. I was getting a little tiresome. I was tempted to take Toadie's offer to skip it because we still have so many more left to go. I'm gonna keep going. Don't even ask me, buddy. I just gotta keep moving. Keep moving, don't stop. Okay, so with this one, we got Donkey Kong and Guma. Sign, steal, deliver. Beat the rival team. This one's tough, yeah. I don't know if I'm the one driving the drone. I've never done that before. Looks like I am. And it does expect you to sort of know how to do these, which can be sort of a bit of a pain. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those. The, the big downfall is that you can only get one at a time. So we'll have to figure that out. These guys all run up here for that. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. They still ended up getting one but they all worked as one unit when they're really supposed to be spreading out. Like that's sort of the big advantage you get. Grab that, I guess here she gets that other one. But not until like they've just dropped off their first one. And at this rate, I'm working on my fifth. And they get to catch up a lot because they sort of drop all those off at once. But at this point, I have a solid enough lead that if I just keep being consistent, I should be able to get it. Of course, try to get the ones that they're like going out of their way to get and then like right at the last second snag them. Okay, I should be able to get this one before Waluigi. Perfect. And they're starting to catch it because they can also hold two. And that's where things get insane because they have almost passed me now. It's like, what the heck do you do about that? Come on, come on. Got it. I think that we might be able to win or at least tie. 11. Come on. Okay, it was tied. I think that counts. I would sure hope so. Please? No, come on. It was a tie. Yeah, I would like to try again, but this time gonna be a bit more fair than, like, jeez. Okay, so we're doing it, we're winning. I'm gonna beat that rival team. Where's it gonna be first? It's gonna be right here. Why does it start with two of them? That means I can get it. Uh, Got it. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get that one. That's fine, because I wanna get this one. Okay, and then I guess I can't get that one. A little too late. It'd be great if I could steal them from them. I don't know if I can or not, though. I can get up here to this one. Got it, and then get to this one. This is where they start catching up like crazy, because at this point they can drop off two at a time. So I want to keep to the ones on the lower floors when I can. Easier said than done, of course. Although we're just gonna get that one. Not much can do about it. But I can get this one. That's nice. Just keep going, be consistent, don't slow down. Got it. And got this one. Sometimes it is weird, is it a mini game or is it labor? <laughs> you never really know. But I guess these toads get a lot of free packages shipped without any uh, having to pay them. Oh no, 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 this is where it gets close every single time. But I did win by one point. All I wanted to see right there. Perfect. Uh, we got it done. Which means we can move on to the next one. Get 100 points, yeah, that's cool. But what's even cooler is seeing what this is. The next one's like a money one. See, sizzling the stakes, uh, 
I didn't read it. I probably should have, but I'll tell me again here. Cook every surface within 25 seconds without losing the cube. I've never lost a cube before. Didn't know you could do that. Man, you have to be really wild on this thing to lose it. Okay, got it, 25 seconds. We can do that. I feel like the controls aren't as reliable right now as they usually are. Okay. Oh. Come on, keep going. This is not turning out as well as it usually does. Maybe because Monty Mole doesn't have hands. Oh, just barely got it though. Glad we were able to get out on the first try. Excellent stuff. That was scary, because we got really close to losing that one. So what is this next one? I'm not really too familiar with this one, with the button. I feel like we have played it, I just don't remember it at all. Okay, so uh, timing is money, snag at least 15 coins without blowing up. Yes, I do remember that. Okay, without 15 coins without blowing up. We can do that, right? Okay. Oh, four coins. Didn't, oh, well, already lost. Let's just quickly, no, I had the chance there for a moment to start over, but then I press pause again. No. Okay, try again, because it would be way faster just to press start over there than having to go all the way back out here. Toad asked me if I want to try. Of course I want to try. Come on now. Two coins, like even if we played it super safe. I'm fine with that. I'm sort of waiting for the bomb to pass. Okay, so I've already won. I just gotta make sure I don't, okay, excellent. Because after I get 15 coins, I can actually just technically wait there and not do anything more, and I still win the, the challenge. All right, so 60,000 tickets in total now. We've gained 10,000 since last episode. And it's Diddy Kong. How you doing, buddy? Ook, ook. I'll help you clear this challenge. What is the challenge? It is half the battle win without touching an amp. Okay. I personally, I don't think I've ever touched the amps. It's always my teammates who just get stuck on them permanently. So we'll try this out. I mean, it might be more difficult now that there are like a, a train of allies behind me. Usually I'm not too used to that. Okay, combo it. So we need to also win though. Like that's sort of the big thing. Okay, grab this one and this one and this one. There we go, we gotta trail three of them. Diddy Kong, come on. Come on, Diddy Kong. Got it. And then, oh, okay. So we got two of them there. Get two more right there and move back. Oh, come on, Diddy Kong, get those back up, come on. Because we need to win this, remember. Okay, I'm gonna snag these two. I've had three every single time. Diddy Kong's not very good at this mini game. There we go, come on, come on, come on. Stop getting hit. I mean, Bowser Jr. seems to be getting hit as well. Okay, got three of them there. Very nice. I'm going to get these two. And then we're gonna get this one, and then we gotta sort of snake around and not get hit. Come on, Diddy Kong, over here, over here. You got it. Oh, you didn't even have any. Okay, got it. Steal those two, or not. Turn around, turn around, turn around. And there we go, we got a solid win there. 11 to seven. It was 11 to six, but they changed it right at the last moment. All right, win without touching the, an amp. It worked out. What do we got next? Because we're starting to earn through this pretty quickly. It's comic. You're doing quite well. Perhaps it's time to take a break. Keep going. The road is tough. Head is tough. Stay focused. We still have two more sets to go, so we got a lot of hard work ahead of us. Can you make it? I hope so. Hey, look, we got Wario, Koopa, and Dry Bones. Suit yourselves. Finish with no more than one miss. Okay, so we we have a strategy with this one. We learned it in the the, the River Survival. As long as we choose one we know is correct, they will also choose one they, that is correct. So I just need to pay attention to one card. We only have to do it twice too. So the diamond, I'm gonna choose the diamond on the left. I'm gonna focus purely on that one. None others. And it is gonna stay where it is, right? Choose a card. So I'm gonna choose that one and they'll choose one as well. And it would be totally unfair if they chose something wrong. So there we go, we get a diamond. And now the next one, Rem remember the cards? I'm gonna do the one on the bottom and see where it ends up going. We'll have to find out, so far nowhere. I thought he was gonna spin the board. Guess not. How many rounds do we have to survive? Two or the normal five? Or whatever it is. Is there more? Okay, there is more. Never mind. I thought it was only gonna be two because it only gives us the option to miss two. Okay, so it's gonna be the, uh, the leaf, the clover. I'm gonna do the far left one again. And now it got swept around. Okay, well, I still know where it is. 
and then the whole thing got swiffed around, but I still know where it is. Right here. Don't know about everybody else, but I don't have to, because I got mine right. There should be one or two more, maybe just one. Remember the cards, I would like to. It's gonna be the pink heart, so I'm gonna do the far right one. I have a feeling that one's gonna get flipped over closer to me. Uh, Yeah, sort of. It's in the top center there. Got it. Okay, uh, and there we go, we did it. So that was awesome. Glad I was able to do that in the first try. But that's sort of the little trick when going against computers with this one. You just have to choose the one you know is correct and leave the one, the other ones up to them and they figure it out. Because uh, you know it's way easier to pay attention to one of them than it is four of them. Look at the big penguin in the background, how wonderful. Time to shine, score at least 35 points. Oh, it's this one. I'm sometimes good, sometimes bad at this one. So we'll try it. Okay. Got it, I love his poses so far. Because he has such little arms. It's adorable. That was good timing. I don't do it this time. Come on, Luigi, give me some easy stuff. There you go. Boo doing it early sort of throws me off. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do it. I don't lose points for not doing it when I'm not supposed to though, which is weird. There you go. And I'm way over, I'm not way over. I forget what it was. <laughs> but hey, it doesn't matter because I got 42 out of 35. We got all of them right before then, so we're fine. Awesome stuff. Let's move to the next one. I'm getting really close to the end now. I mean, really close, getting closer, I suppose. Second to last one of the segment. Hi guys, Penguin Pushers. Ah, oh, finished with 50 seconds. Within 50 seconds or with 50 seconds? Within, okay. Sometimes this is all up to the AI not being total dinguses. So uh, we'll try it. I'm just gonna just try to push a lot of them in right away and literally only one went in. <laughs> Come on, you know, Monty Mole sorta kinda looks like a penguin if you squint your eyes and pretend he's blue. There you go, that was actually a really good one. Good job, guys. Scare these guys in. I, I, I'm pretty good at being in the position where I scare them in from the center. Uh. Got it, okay, see that was super easy. We barely used a little more than half of our time. 26 seconds in total. Okay, so um, yeah, looking good. And that means we can move on to the final one of this segment, uh, candy shakedown. Shake out all the candy within 20 seconds. Oh no, oh no indeed. This one's gonna be total luck for me because I'm so bad at this one. It's more of the you know, feeling the rumble kind of thing. I need to press the A button right away. Uh, got it, okay, and just go for it. Like if you shake it a lot, a couple of them will just fall out right away. I'm trying to get those, Arrgh! got it, come on. It's the big blue ones and then the green ones. Got the one of the green ones. Come on, seven seconds left, seven seconds left. Come on, the green one, green one, yes! Okay, that was total luck. I'm so happy I got it, so lucky. Um. So that was the second to last segment completed. So we got one more segment left to do and then we're done with Challenge Road and we have gotten ourselves our final thingamajig. Hi Toadette, so far so good, why not take a break? Keep going, I'm not starting, I'm not starting to give up now, good luck. Oh, let's hope these aren't too bad, but we're gonna find out together, almost there. Hi Boo. Making faces, get at least 80%, oh no. We have gotten 80% before, but this is another one that's sort of totally relying on the computer player depending on if they actually want to cooperate with me or not. We'll try it, we'll see what ends up happening. I mean, I think I'd rather be up or down in this situation, I'm usually left or right. Even though it is sort of hard to tell. Definitely I'm more accurate than them. Oh, but that was actually way higher than I thought. Gotta keep that in mind for this one. That's gonna be good right there. I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, still way higher, that was higher than last time. This is not gonna be good. Come on, a little to the left, or not. Finish. 
That was okay. Was that 80% though? 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, nice, okay. I like it, that's good. Yeah, good job, boo. See, I told you the baddies work together so well. So what is next for us? It looks like, I, something with the fuzzies. Yeah, the fuzzy flight school, get first place. I'm pretty good at this one. I usually get first place. I don't think there's ever been a time where I have not gotten first place with this one, so it should be fine. All right, are you ready? Bump you out of the way. We do have more than one hit we can take though, which is always good to keep in mind. So that if we do get hit once, don't give up, don't drop the Joy-Con in frustration. So we might end up taking more hits unnecessarily. Okay, so far so good. And ow, I was gonna say everybody got hit but, but me, but then I got hit. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go, see how easy that was? That was wonderful. So that one was super quick and easy, totally painless in a way. I mean, we got a little bit of pain, but what's pain without some gain? And we got some of that too. So what is this one? This is the one with the UFO and the magnet? Magnet? No, this is a different one. All-Star Swingers get score at least 20 points. Another rhythm one. I don't usually do well on this one either. Maybe because I always hold it to the right, but I'm a lefty. That might be why. I mean, I guess it might not matter at all. I'm getting pretty good so far. Yeah, when it's like one after the other like this, I have to swing at the same exact time they uh, the other one throws. Nice. 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 Okay, we did it. Ah, okay, whatever. 23 out of 20 points. All I needed. Very, very good. So, uh, what do we got next? Something with a UFO and a magnifying, uh, a, a magnet, that's what I meant. Uh, let's try this one. Sphere mongers, score at least 30 points. Oh, I remember this one. This is another one I've not played much, but it reminds me of a mini game from Crash Bash. Okay, so let's try to get that golden one on the bottom left right away. Because you can only hold like one golden one. No, that's not true. I don't know why I'm remembering it that way, because it's clearly wrong but other people can, there we go. That took a second for some reason. Can sort of bump into you. Ooh, some good points already though. Happy with that, we could get two gold ones. Two gold ones, got it, drop them. 24 points, we're doing really well right now. Give me these. And then, oh, it's raining, it's raining. Quite a forecast, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. All I need is to drop that in, yes, 32. Excellent, don't care about anything else. So we're really getting close and we're getting lucky with this last segment. It isn't too bad so far. Okay, what's going on with, is this the final one? Yes it is, there's only one challenge left. Give it your best, I will try. And it's against Mario, this is the final challenge. Mario has declared that though you're very good, he's not going down without a fight. <laughs> oh boy, train in pain, beat the rival team. Oh my. Well, it is Mario Party. It does make sense that the last opponent is Mario. I have to bop him. Let's try it. The, the very original Mario Party character against one of the newest Mario Party characters. Don't you dare hit me. Gotcha. He's not as good as he said he was. He is not as good as he said he was. He immediately cowered in the corner. That was like the easiest boss yet, Mario. What are you doing? Just because your name's on the game doesn't mean you're good. You gotta practice. All right, well, look at that. We defeated Challenge Road. You did it. Now head to the goal. Mario is at least a good sport about it. He's clapping for it. So is everybody else. Monty Mole is the challenger. Or the, um, obviously, he's the challenge winner. Monty Mole is the challenge. Uh, it's the challenge roll goal. Everyone is so proud of you. Congratulations. Yay. Okay, so we did it, which means that we should get the final gem in the game. You made it to the end of Challenge Road, but the real challenge is living your best life. Well, we get a little bit of wisdom too, don't we? Let's move on to the next challenge. What? Next challenge? I thought that was the last challenge, the challenge rope. I have no clue. Well, we get 5,000 as an all clear bonus on our party points. Very good to see. And look at that, the final pink heart gem. You cleared every stage in challenge road. Way to power through. Only someone with a burning uncontrollable passion for minigames could have pulled that off. 
As a token of that passion, I present to you the gem of passion, which glows with joy. Wowee. Well, we got that. And that is all five gems. Very cool to see. Which means, isn't the game technically completed? Wow, all five gems! I always thought you'd be the one, Monty Mole. And does this mean we also unlocked the last character, the uh, Pom Pom, earlier in the previous stage? W what is happening? Oh. They're all combining. I can't believe Monty Mole is a superstar. Couldn't have turned out any better. The first Mario Party he's in, of course he becomes a superstar. That crown is too big for him now. Th that's the victory podium. Only the true superstars allowed on there. It's time for the award ceremony. All right, well, everybody's gotten around. Except, oh yeah, I see Pom Pom there, so she's definitely an unlockable character. Haven't played as her yet, we'll try to do that soon. What's up? Ahem. <laughs> He's trying to get everybody's attention. I present to you your winner. Or our winner. The true superstar, collector of all five gems. Well, that was different every time. Monty Ball! <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Monty. Yay! Monty won. I don't think I could have chosen a better superstar. Yay! I hope we can see that for everybody else as well. Oh, well, what's Bowser doing? Not bad, champ, you beat me to the punch, girl. <laughs> I'm glad he's proud of us. Uh-oh, what's happening? Praising the champion even though you lost so noble of you. Very impressive, and to think you owe it all to my party management skills. Now the true superstar has been decided. Everybody can get along. Uh, I don't think Bowser agrees with that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you made him mad. That's right, at least until the next party gets started. Oh boy. Bar Super Mario Party 2? Ah! What do you mean, next party? Oh, looks like they're all ready to go for another one. <laughs> That's great, everybody's good to go. Unless this is like teasing a sequel called like Super Bowser Party, I would so buy that. Hey, maybe they're, maybe it is. Weird. Okay, well, no matter what, Monty Mole is the champion. It's lonely at the top, but hey, he's used to being under the ground, so being at the top of a mountain ain't that much of a difference when it comes to seeing other people, I suppose. Oh, oh, they all ran off to go fight to see who's number two. All right, well, and so the party came to a close. Looks like it'll be a while until another superstar is chosen. I don't know what that said. Staff, okay, cool. We got the, the credits. Very, very awesome. So I guess that is sort of technically the end of the main story mode, quote unquote, for this game. I wouldn't say there's particularly a story mode, but there is at least some way to get to the end of it. So that's pretty cool. I had a lot of fun with that and hopefully you did too. Definitely a fun Mario Party game. I know that some people have had some problems with it. Not the best Mario Party game ever. But I definitely don't think it was a bad Mario Party game, especially the first one on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully one of more than one, maybe two or three. That would be really cool to see if they ever made a Super Bowser Party. I feel like that would be an interesting take on it. I hope that they really do. Because Super Mario Party was definitely supposed to be sort of a reboot of the series instead of doing a Mario Party 11, like they have been with like Mario Party 1 through 10. They decided to go with a whole new name and just really bring it back to its roots. Of course, we saw that with Mario Party 9 and 10, they tried to mix it up a little bit with everybody being in the car. <laughs> that was Diddy Kong in a little tricycle. But, <laughs> I like this background, what's going on. But with this one, they named it Super Mario Party. They brought it back to what it originally was like. So that's super cool to see. Is this everybody trying to hit everybody with everything? Ridiculous. But yeah, this is one of the uh, Nintendo Switch games I've been most anticipating since it was announced and totally worth it. I mean, there's still a couple more characters we need to check out, like one of them's on the screen right now, that was Hammer Bro. Hammer Bro, um, Pom Pom, maybe one other character, Boo, that was the other character. Those three we definitely have to check out, there might be even one more after that. Can't really remember at the moment. But it'll definitely be cool to check 
all that out. We'll be trying to get more stuff done. But yeah, no matter what, it'll be a good time. Monty Mole being the superstar was fantastic though. I couldn't have ended any better. But um, yeah, it's cool to unlock Pom Pom, so we should have every character in the game unlocked. We also have to play Dry Bones, that's the fourth one. Gotcha. <laughs> Luigi on a chain chop. Ridiculous. But there are plenty of other awesome Nintendo Switch games coming up super duper soon, so I hope you do stay tuned for that. First off, coming up this month, or I guess next month, uh, it's almost the end of October. Coming up next month, wow, Bowser is huge. We have ourselves Pokemon, Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu. Very anticipated, I know. I'm super excited for it, hopefully you are too. So we'll be definitely playing that. The month after, we also have, uh, What's it called? Super Smash Brothers. I want to be playing both of those games. It'll be an absolute blast. And of course, next year we have ourselves Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3 and whatever else they decide to throw at us. It sounds like it's going to be a ton of fun. But hey, in the meantime, thanks for playing and thanks for watching. More Mario Party is coming soon with Super Mario Party. And who knows, maybe more. That was great though. I had so much fun. So what happens now? Does it just plop us back out? Congratulations on reaching the end. You got the gem of passion. Indeed we did. You cleared all of the challenges. Yes, we did as well. Okay, so is that it? I guess so. So we will try to explore whatever's left available in the game in the next episode. But let's just quickly get Pom Pom. Wow, what a neat looking place. Name's Pom Pom. I'm not too late, am I? Where are you headed? I'll come with, let's go. Great, I'm a winner at pretty much everything. All right, well cool. We'll go ahead and replace her with Donkey Kong. Uh, so yeah, Pom Pom is now ready to party, which means we have every character in the game unlocked. We have gotten all of the main story mode. Things are feeling rather complete right now, but we'll keep on pushing for more completion in the next episode of Super Mario Party. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Mole so now you've watched at the end of the you are a zebra tasty viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.